now your certified storm ready forecast from NBC 25. Well, if you haven't had a chance to enjoy the warm summer like weather, tonight's your night to do it because it's going to be going away pretty quickly as we head through the weekend. Maybe fire up the barbecue this evening, especially if you live east of I-75 to the west of there. We will be talking about some showers and storms here pretty shortly. But here's a live look at downtown Saginaw via NBC 25 Skycam. And yes, indeed, on the western horizon, we do have those clouds building, a sign that some areas are about to get hit with some showers and thunderstorms although they shouldn't be severe. Here's a look at the satellite radar picture and over Mount Pleasant right now stretching down towards the Alma area. We do have some of those showers and storms where you see the reds and the oranges. Things are coming down just a little bit heavier. The rain that is coming down a bit heavier, but once again, not expecting severe weather for tonight. 82 degrees, partly cloudy in Flint, a high in the mid 80s today, and we're not too far off of the mid 80s in Saginaw right now. 83 degrees despite the cloud cover starting to move in. As you take a look at future cast at midnight, it suggests a little bit of shower and storm activity still in the area, but that goes away. We get a few dry hours overnight before 8 o'clock in the morning. Another batch of showers and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder moves into the area ahead of a cold front. As that cold front moves on through, we'll still have to deal with some rain behind it. In fact, by 3.40 p.m., you can see uh, somewhat heavier rain very close to the area. We'll have to watch and see if this doesn't occur a little bit further to the northwest than what our model suggests. And then uh, lighter rain as we head to the northwest. But some areas could still see a half inch to a full inch of rainfall over the course of the day on Saturday and into Saturday night. But by 8 o'clock on Sunday morning, you can see we start to clear out out there. And the clearing trend will last as we head through Sunday afternoon. With lots of sunshine temperatures will be cool only in the 60s, if that, for highs. On Saturday, though, we're looking at morning lows in the upper 60s to near 70, and then temperatures in the afternoon. Look at this. Instead of going upward, they drop into the low 60s, even some 50s northwest of Saginaw Bay by late afternoon tomorrow. 40s then for Sunday morning, afternoon highs, struggling to get above 60 in many cases. 68 degrees tonight, a chance of showers and storms, especially north and west of the Tri-Cities. 71 degrees for a high tomorrow. Falling afternoon temperatures as those winds shift to the north. Once again, a half inch to an inch of rain is possible over the course of the day tomorrow into Saturday night. 62 on Sunday, getting close to 70 on Monday, but we have to pay for it with a cold start around 40. Some spots in the 30s on Monday morning, but 80 degrees by Wednesday. So once again, those storms tonight, nothing in the Doesn't look like rooms. they're going to be Just severe. Just rattle, window rattlers. Yeah, garden variety. Yes, window rattlers. I like that.